Yeah, before this video starts, I'm thinking I'm gonna be calling this series, um, the Kamikaze series because, um, I'm risking losing my credibility and, um, getting a shit on because of my opinion by doing this video because, um, this dude, he's got 100,000 subscribers, whereas I only got, like, 700. So yeah, this is a pretty big risk for me, but I'm taking it. Why? Because I want to. Let's proceed with the video. Hey, what is going on guys? It is Medic to TwimC and um today we're gonna be um doing a response video to one of Griffin Gaming's videos. It was um it was one about I think his name was Chaos Silencer, who did a video on um ten reasons why Fortnite is better than Minecraft. And um I'm gonna be honest, I don't think Fortnite is better than Minecraft, but in my opinion there are some elements that make Fortnite a much more enjoyable game. Same thing can go for Minecraft. There are things about that game that make it more enjoyable than Fortnite. I agree with some of the points that he brought out within the beginning of the video because those were mostly, um, objective things that you cannot agree or disagree about because, um, it's just facts. Yeah, a lot of his, um, points, especially in the beginning, were very, very objective. Well, not very objective, just objective points that, um, Fortnite has over Minecraft. The ones at the very end of the video they were more like preference things, as opposed to the beginning of the video where um he was mainly making points that most people can unanimously agree on. The only problem, the only main problem I have with the video is that um they are, Fortnite and Minecraft are enjoyed for very very different reasons. As I've previously stated, Fortnite is more of a competitive game whereas Minecraft is more of a casual, anybody can play this, anybody can have fun game. And when I first watched um Griffin's video, I disagreed with a lot of the points that he brought up. Literally, in the title, he says that Chaos is the biggest boomer on YouTube, and he even calls him retarded, like, within 20 seconds of watching the video. Now that I think about it, let's bring up Griffin's channel before we get into his video. So basically, Griffin Gaming is a commentary YouTuber, much like Leafy. In fact, his voice sounds very, very similar to Leafy. And since the face reveal, I have been getting sent non-stop shit like this, this, and especially fucking this, and it just a very, very frequent question recently. Of uh, people actually asking me to make a video talking about switching from console to PC gaming. It seems like there's a lot of interest there, and since I just recently made the switch from being a console player for what? I got my first console when I was four, and I'm, I've been feeling a little bit down recently guys you know I take in the groceries and I just feel like shit and I know a lot of you guys are thinking what the fuck is that even supposed to mean well don't worry some people even say he is the new leafy though I mean leafy was um he was definitely more toxic than Griffin Griffin um I'm not gonna say that he's not toxic but like so far he hasn't made anybody cry like he so far he hasn't made an autistic man in a fedora cry over um over his fans getting all um aggressive and attacking him at least so far he hasn't done that who knows for all i know he might do that in the future or rather his fans will do that i mean if i'm being honest nobody has control over what their fans do so um, if, if his fans do something crazy it's not really his fault but um yeah he makes a lot of um he makes a lot of gaming videos and he also makes some videos debunking some people who say very very untrue as well as negative things against the pc and not just against the PC, but like, he makes videos on cringy Star Wars fanboys, cringy fanboys of any video game, any genre, any, well, I don't know about any genre, but like, yeah. He makes videos on anything that makes him cringe or that makes you cringe. And, um, I'm gonna be honest, I do find a lot of his videos entertaining. That's why I'm subscribed to him, so I can see more of his amazing content. But... This part of his channel also makes him very similar to another YouTube channel, Rags, who hasn't uploaded a video in a couple of months. And by this part, of course I mean the gaming part, not the, um, cringy fanboy Star Wars part. Like, Rags, so far, he doesn't- he hasn't really done that, though he did make a video on I Hate Everything, um, his opinion on The Last Jedi, which he has changed his opinion on ever since, um, he originally uploaded the video to his channel. But, um, yeah, in my opinion, he doesn't, um, do as good of a job as at debunking these people as rags. Because, um, again, like I said before, he uses a lot of ad hominems instead of just, you know, instead of just, like, actually debunking certain videos with facts. Because sometimes I found myself going through half of the video and I'm just like, wow, all he's done so far is insult this guy. Now that we've gone over a bit of, um... What I think of the video and what Griffin Gaming's channel is all about, let's let's get right into it. 
And I'm not gonna lie, man, when I first read the title, it shook me to my core, dude. I started questioning what is real and what is fake in this so-called reality we live in every single day. And well, the title of this video is probably gonna make you lose faith in humanity, okay? I'm just telling you, man, brace yourselves for this tidal wave of cringe about to smash into your face and basically destroy you. But anyway, the title of the video is Top 10 Reasons Why Fortnite is Better Than Minecraft. Why are we still here? just to suffer. Now, I know you didn't say this, but you act as if it's a crime against humanity to think that there are things about Fortnite that make it better than Minecraft, or even just preferring Fortnite over Minecraft. Like, it's it's just a personal opinion. Come on, man. Like, I know this was done for, like, like for entertainment purposes, but, like, come on, man. It's not really that big of a deal if somebody prefers Fortnite over Minecraft. But I don't know, man. Maybe it's because I'm low-key a masochist or something. I have no idea. I decided I was going to click on the video and take a break from studying and check it out. And, well, I cannot say I was disappointed because it's exactly what I was expecting. It was literally a boomer counting down 10 so-called reasons why Fortnite is better than Minecraft. I thought the stereotype was that a lot of younger Zoomers and even kids a little bit younger than that, I thought the stereotype was that kids are the ones that like Fortnite, not boomers. Also, he's 39! Two seconds of Google! He's a fucking Generation X, dumbass! Which I don't know how anyone with a functioning brain could ever come to that conclusion, but then again, man, we are dealing with a top 10 YouTuber here. I don't know why I have to make repeat myself, but this is a personal opinion, okay? This is not fact. He is not saying that Fortnite is better than Minecraft. He's just listing out reasons that you may or may not agree with, okay? You cannot dispel an argument which is subjective by using an argument of your own which is also subjective. Like, just, no. Just, not when it comes to this. But when I initially watched this video, I only got to number seven, dude. Like, that's when I realized, you know, this would make for some quality-ass content. So I figured we would watch this video together today because why not, dude? Let's face it, if you clicked on this video, you probably don't have anything better to do right now. Or you could be like me and I have, like, important stuff to do. But I would rather do anything except study right now. So you know what? Here we are making this video. But anyway, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and check out this fantastic argument and listen to 10 reasons why Fortnite is better than Minecraft. Okay, right off the bat, this may sound like a very strange comparison of games, but it's really more relevant than you think, especially with the fact that Fortnite has just passed Minecraft for the 12-month mark of YouTube viewership. That's right, Minecraft has been dethroned, and Fortnite is trending above it in views. Now, Fortnite and Minecraft are two of the biggest games on the planet right now, and they have a lot of the same mechanics in the actual gameplay. I mean, we are literally 20 seconds in, and this guy has already sounded retarded, dude. Like, there is almost nothing similar between Fortnite and Minecraft, except the fact that you can build, and even then, the building mechanics are completely different in each game. While I agree that this is pretty much an apples to oranges comparison, um, I would say that the reason that he's doing this comparison is because of the fact that not only are they very popular games, but especially people nowadays, they like to put Minecraft on this pedestal, whereas Fortnite is just this really, really retarded child that everybody hates. I apologize for that, that probably could have been worded better, but you know what I mean, right? Oh, and by the way, people are hating on Fortnite's community, not the game itself. Uh, we're going to be throwing our hat in the ring today and showing you why Fortnite is better than Minecraft and deserves that top spot for viewership. And obviously, this video isn't supposed to be bashing Minecraft or anything like that, but rather just a fun comparison of the two games from a diehard Fortnite fan here. And if diehard Fortnite fan. You know, I would probably rather die a slow and painful death than be over the age of four years old and actually publicly admit that I am a diehard Fortnite fan like Jesus Christ. Let's get started. At number 10, better combat. While Minecraft does have a decent amount of combat depending on how you're playing it, Fortnite obviously has much more polish and care put into the mechanics of the game. Since Minecraft really isn't a combat heavy game, the faster paced parts can be a little awkward and clunky. Now okay, so this is like the one point I somewhat agree with, but at the same time, he completely contradicts himself like two seconds later. Like sure, Minecraft combat is not as good as Fortnite, but then he literally says that Minecraft is not a combat heavy game. It just makes you wonder like, why is this even a thing? Like it would make sense if he made a video comparing the building in Minecraft and Fortnite, but no, let's compare combat in a third person action shooter versus Minecraft, a first person sandbox open world game where you build stuff. This is some 300 IQ shit. 
You're acting as if this is the only thing that the video has to offer, which, I mean, you know, and I know, that this is not the only point that he has, alright? I don't know why you're wording it as if this was the only point that he had. And I know, they're not the same game. At number 9, Quicker Building. Oh, oh, we're getting into Minecraft's realm here. Minecraft is a building game. While the building in Fortnite may not be as detailed or as customizable as it is in Minecraft, Fortnite's building is much quicker and allows you to make bigger structures and more elaborate creations in a shorter amount of time. In fact, the building is so quick that it has become a huge part of the Fortnite meta as whenever you get into a gunfight, you'll often see people building a tower as a part of their strategy. You can build quicker in Fortnite. Like that is the level of desperation this guy has reached and we are only on number nine. Like I said, I didn't even finish this video and I knew it was gonna be quality as content and I don't think you guys will be disappointed. I mean, apparently building a temporary structure quicker somehow is better than building a permanent structure in Minecraft. I really just don't understand it. And to say that you can build something more elaborate in Fortnite than you can in Minecraft, that is actually retarded. The fuck? Hold up, let's rewind the clip a little bit. Fortnite's building is much quicker and allows you to make bigger structures and more elaborate creations in a shorter amount of time. This is the level of desperation that this dude is on, alright? Like, he's- he literally has the power to go back in the clip and rewind to make sure that he's not misconstruing this guy's point, but yet he decides to not do that and misconstrue it anyways. Like, what the fuck? He only mentions this because this is part of what makes Fortnite, um, like, different than other battle royales and part of what makes it really competitive. And me, myself, I personally prefer, um, more competitive games over, like, more casual games like Minecraft and also Terraria. Terraria is a good game, too. People have made a working computer in Minecraft. People have made a fucking tower in Fortnite. There's a big difference there. And plus, I'm just gonna say, the building in Fortnite is probably the worst part of the game. I probably would enjoy it if it didn't have the building, but you know what? Obviously, it makes it better than Minecraft. Isn't this the same dude who made fun of somebody because they didn't like Dark Souls for the simple fact that Dark Souls is meant to be like a hard game? And yes he is. I've been grinding the first part of the game for the last three fucking hours just to get some decent gear. I finally get somewhere and they throw something else at me. Like this fucking game is just hard for the sake of being hard. There's no fucking reason for the for any game ever to be this hard. Everybody's like, well Dark Souls 2 was this hard. I mean, and if you, you can say that about this, any game that asshole. you're bad at. Who fucking wants to struggle for like a couple hours? And then everybody like, well maybe you're just not that good. No, it's not about being good or bad. It's about making one wrong mistake and you're fucked. What kind of game is that? I mean, it sounds like you're talking about a Souls game if you ask me dude it's not like that's really been the concept of the games you know ever since demon souls dark souls 1 dark souls 2 and now of course dark souls 3 it's not like you're supposed to die learn from your mistakes go back to where you were and use what you learned to do possibly better next time does that mean that i get to make fun of him for not liking fortnite for the simple fact that fortnite has building mechanics that are the bread and butter of the game no why is it because this is a completely different situation yeah fuck you at number eight, weaponry. The guns in Fortnite are extremely fun to use, except for, well, the crossbow. Screw the crossbow. You've got four kinds of assault rifles, four kinds of pistols, two types of submachine guns, and now three kinds of snipers for long range combat. Plus, you've got the RPG, the grenade launcher, the guided missile, and a whole bunch of different grenades for you to throw manually. As far as weaponry goes, Fortnite has far more variety than Minecraft, and there are way more ways to engage your enemies. Well, no shit, dude. It's almost like Fortnite is a third person shooter where the entire point of the game is to kill other people people with fucking guns i mean i am genuinely wondering if this guy was dropped on his head as a child at this point like this guy might actually be brain dead too <laughs> like what even is this is he that desperate to give fortnite the win that he will make up some bullshit like going oh yeah well the third person shooter has more guns than a game about building stuff where you know the literal title of the game is minecraft you know because that's what you're doing in the game that is so fucking stupid dude it's like saying the fucking nerf guns are better than legos because nerf guns have more ways to shoot people 10 out of 10 big brain logic well in this case legos can do more than just choke you to death at number seven we're gonna get some salty people here skill this one is a little more about preference for the viewer okay i'm just gonna stop it right there dude because every single fortnite game you watch it doesn't matter who you're watching it always ends with two people just rapidly building and they basically build a scale model of the twin towers so what is this supposed to say about the game that it doesn't require skill requires intelligence like what are you trying to say also don't put down fortnite building all right have you tried to play against Senbuga? Neither have I, but like, still, it takes a lot more skill to outjuke the other person by building than you'd think. Speaking of preference, at number six, let's talk about structure. This is another one that falls into that category. Part of what made Minecraft so popular in the first place 
was its lack of structure. In Minecraft, you can do it pretty much whatever you want to, but because of the lack of structure, some people aren't as big of fans of it. Fortnite, on the other hand, is a very straightforward and easy to follow structure that is very exciting to watch move forward as people get picked off one by one until there's just one person left or team left. And you get to watch it all from the beginning over again. I'm done, dude. Like, I, I just really can't take this shit no more, man. <laughs> I just can't do it. I can't take this shit no more, man. All I wanted to do was, like, I was fucking lonely. I wanted to just fucking stream and, and, and have a good time. Have, have a good game. <laughs> and before you ask, yes, he does use clips like this in almost every single one of his videos. Like, what even is this? This guy is saying that Minecraft is worse than Fortnite because Minecraft, a sandbox game, does not tell you what to do and when to do it and allows you to play the game and do whatever you want in the fucking sandbox. I really just don't understand this. Like, this is some 300 IQ, big-brained, retard-level logic if I've ever heard it. Either that or, you know, he's really trying to push that epic creator code. That's quite a lot of oxymorons that you seem to use there, alright? But if you were as big brain as you thought you were, alright, you would probably know that he's not saying that it is fact that Fortnite is better because it has structure, alright? Unlike Minecraft. He's just saying that this is a preference for him, and it might be a preference for other people. Like, how desperate do you have to get to discredit somebody's argument that you disagree with from the get-go by using such stupid arguments yourself? Cracking into the top five, visual style, and most of these are actually subjective to your own preference. A lot of people love Minecraft's blocky retro 3D visual style. Many prefer a more realistic type, though. Yes, I know Fortnite isn't exactly a realistic looking game because of the cartoony style and very exaggerated human bodies, but it's definitely more realistic than Minecraft. Many people prefer games to have a more realistic style to them, which is a part of why there are so many Minecraft mods that improve the visuals and make them a little more grounded in reality. Plus, I don't know if Fortnite would really work with a visual style like Minecraft, and part of why Battle Royale games have taken off recently is the visual style that makes the stakes a little higher. I really just cannot believe that this is an actual video, man. Like, this guy is so dumb. Like, he literally says that Minecraft graphics are not realistic, and then not 10 seconds later, he shows a Minecraft mod that makes the game look 10 times more realistic than Fortnite will ever be. And then to make it even worse, you know, Minecraft Hunger Games, you could argue, is what popularized Battle Royale in the first place and paved the way for games like Fortnite, so if the art style was the big problem here, why does Minecraft have more players for one, and why the hell did Minecraft Hunger Games succeed, and basically make an entire genre that Fortnite came in a couple years later and milked the fuck out of? Alright, so Fortnite has a much more appealing visual style because the proportions, like most of the proportions, are much more realistic than Minecraft, alright? And the shader that he showed, it wasn't even realistic. Like, the only things that you could say about the game that were more realistic than Fortnite were, um, the shadows and the water. That's about it. Also, Fortnite was not the first video game to take inspiration from the Minecraft survival games. I thought you'd know this by now. At number four, the map. Minecraft has a very open and unpredictable map that is ripe for you to explore and mine while hunting for your resources. But this goes back to what I said earlier about structure and how not everyone really wants something so unpredictable and unstructured. Some people prefer a more consistent experience, and Fortnite has that. There is only one map in the Fortnite Battle Royale right now, but that's definitely not a bad thing because the map that is in the game, I mean, it's not perfect, but man, they, they, they make it better and better every time. My brain is completely broken at this point, guys. I just don't even think I could recover. Like, the negative IQ we're being exposed to right now is off the charts. This man literally just named a reason why Minecraft is better in a video titled 10 Reasons Why Fortnite is better than Minecraft. Like, I just cannot comprehend what is going on here. He literally says that Fortnite has one map, and it's not even perfect, and there's a bunch of issues with that map, but at the same time, talks shit about Minecraft for having a randomly generated infinite map for you to explore, craft, and mine on. Like, that's the entire point of the game. Minecraft does what it does perfectly, whereas Fortnite still has issues, but yet somehow, that means that Fortnite is better than Minecraft. I'm, I'm fucking done, dude. Like, I don't know if I can make it through to the end of this video. Please, I'm begging you guys. One like equals one prayer. Alright, this is actually the first point that I've agreed with Griffin on so far. So, um, yeah, I don't really have much else to say except, um, yeah. At number three, we have item spawns. In Minecraft, you have to really look around and work for the resources and materials you may need for whatever it is you are trying to do. Whatever your goal may be. In Fortnite, the items are a little easier to come by and the weapon spawns in Battle Royale are consistent, but not too consistent. There are tons of weapons and chest spawns on the map, but the game randomly selects a certain portion of them 
for the map before it starts. Meaning that even if you know all the chest spawns on the entire map in Fortnite, you can still get screwed over by the game's selection. Now, this creates an interesting balance between consistency and mystery, while in Minecraft, it's pretty much all a mystery. I just don't even feel like responding to this at this point. Like, what is even the point of this? The entire point of Minecraft is to go and find stuff and mine it. The whole point of Fortnite is to shoot people. Of course, they're going to make the shit easier to find. How boring would the game be if you just ran around with a pickaxe the entire time and got sniped halfway across the map? Like, this is not rocket science, dude. Like, use your brain. Well, you know, that's assuming that you have one. I don't want to just keep agreeing with Griffin for the rest of the video, but he's right, dude. Like, Chaos was making a really retarded point. Number two, PS4 crossplay. Minecraft has a pretty awesome update recently that turned on crossplay between Xbox One, Switch, PC, and mobile, which is a massive player base to play all together. But you may realize that PlayStation 4 is not part of this list. You know, this video is a little bit old at this point, but it was just recently announced that PS4 will be getting crossplay now, finally. You know, but previously it was all on Sony. It had nothing to do with Minecraft. It shouldn't be penalized for that. When it was Sony, aka the owners of PlayStation, who were being complete assholes and blocking crossplay on Minecraft. They were also the assholes who said that we couldn't play with PlayStation gamers on Fortnite unless we had a PlayStation ourselves, originally. And the final thing today on this very, very subjective crazy list, it's free. So is getting raped in an alley. It doesn't mean I want to experience it. I bet you guys a console peasant is just going to use this clip against him when they're talking about why, uh, like, I don't know, why Xbox Live or PSN is better than Steam because one is paid. I don't fucking know what I'm trying to say. I mean, free does not equal better, but, like, if it's better and free, like, that's always a bonus. But, yeah, it's just, it's really subjective whether or not you think Fortnite is better than Minecraft, as, um, you can clearly see by this entire video. So, yeah, this is the end of the video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I thought this was a bit of a fun, like, commentary video to do. Like, this is only, like, I believe the second response video that I've done to somebody who I disagreed with. And, uh, yeah, I thought it was a pretty fun idea. I'm surprised he didn't mention the fact that Chaos Silencer, he actually made a video on 10 reasons why Minecraft is better than Fortnite as damage control. Like, I think it was a couple of months after this video came out, um, the 10 reasons why Fortnite is better than Minecraft video, it like came out a couple of months before, um, yeah, I mean after this. So, um, yeah, it's probably because of all the hate that he was getting. Like, I don't know if it was at the time he uploaded it or whenever the Fortnite bad Minecraft good memes started rolling around. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to leave a like on it. And I don't know. If you didn't like it, it's okay to leave a dislike. Maybe even leave a constructive comment in the comment section below. Maybe even make a response video to this. I'm like 69% sure Griffin will do that. But that's not, like, completely sure.